If you're wondering what air fryers are, how they work, and which one you should buy, I have answers for you. This is my air fryer 101 video. I've got a lot of experience with these, so I'm hoping I can help you out. I need to tell you, just because you're using an air fryer doesn't mean you are not using oil, okay? The best thing to do when you are cooking basically anything in here is to spray it with oil, toss it in oil the same way you would if you are roasting it, whatever it may be, season and put it in the air fryer. Then you're gonna get those same crispy fried results that you're looking for. All right, so I guess the first question would be, what are air fryers, right? <laughs> So air fryers are mini convection ovens that swirl hot air around whatever food you put in here. So when you're frying conventionally, you're dipping food into super hot oil, it's taking a bath in oil, but when you're air frying, you're just lightly spritzing the food that you put in here with oil, and then the hot air does the work and gives you, I would say, a pretty similar reaction, result, than regular frying. In terms of what you can make in an air fryer, anything you would put in the oven, so baking, roasting, um, you can put in an air fryer. You can also put anything you would fry in an air fryer, obviously, but in case that wasn't clear, that is what you can do. So anything from breads, yup, cakes, to chicken, to vegetables, to those french fries that you wanna make lighter are good for air fryers. Reasons to get an air fryer would be if you like to fry foods and want to be healthier, or if you don't like using the oven all the time, it's super hot, it's uneven, get an air fryer. They're a great investment to have, but only if you're gonna use them. They're also great for feeding families, depending on which one you get. So let's get into the different kinds of air fryers there are so you can figure out which one is the best for you. The first kind of air fryer is the OG traditional original one. It's the single basket air fryer. So basically, it just comes with one basket that you throw your food into and it will air fry. I think if you're feeding two people, the traditional single basket is great, but they've started making larger single basket air fryers. Like this one here is the Instant brand. So the same as Instant Pot, but it's an air fryer. And the single basket can actually fit four chicken breasts. It can fit a lot. This is great because it takes up less counter space. This is also nice because you can store it. It's pretty light, nothing crazy. And you can really use it for french fries, nuggets, or roasting meats, fish donuts, I've used it for donuts, like whatever you want. But this is, this is, I guess the traditional air fryer. If you live alone, if you're feeding a significant other, if you're gonna use this maybe like a few times a month, get a single basket air fryer for sure. I just saw it on Amazon for $89 for this model, which is really a great price for the power it gives. So if you're looking for your first air fryer ever, it's time. This would be a great one. Another one on Amazon that has absolute impeccable reviews and I've talked about it so many times on Amazon Live is the Kasori Air Fryer. So this one, Kasori for single basket. And then Ninja also has great single baskets as well. Are you ready for the next one? Dun da da da. This is a dual air fryer. It has two. <laughs> It's got two baskets, which is amazing. So you can air fry two different kinds of foods at once. This is the Ninja 6-in-1 Dual Air Fryer. I've been using this for a long time and it's definitely worth the hype. Now, what's super cool about this one is the ability to make two different foods at once, but also the ability to use two different temperatures and times for each basket. So if I'm making Sweet potato fries, love that. In this one, I would do 450 for 15 minutes, but if I'm making donuts in this one, I would do 400 for 20 minutes and let it do its thing. But portion size is huge. I would totally get a dual air fryer if you plan to air fry a lot. If this is gonna be like a second oven to you and that you're using it multiple times every week, you want to meal prep often, but you don't feel like getting out the sheet pans, roasting everything, 
get this air fryer. It's a great investment and I love the fact you can just make two things at once because like who doesn't love that? So this is definitely, I think, worth the investment. It's $179, so it's on the pricier end, but it's gotten all five star reviews on Amazon. There is another brand called New Wave, which I saw on Amazon which is on deal right now for $99. I don't know if it's gonna be that price when you watch this video, but it is more affordable. I think if you're gonna get a dual air fryer, this is the one. Okay, another thing you can do is just buy a new oven, woohoo! No, this is an air fryer, yes it is. Basically, this is an actual convection oven air fryer that's shaped like an oven and it basically acts like a second oven now if you're asking well why why would i get that instead of the basket here's the reason if you have an oven and you cook all the time and you need something more accurate or if you do not have an oven and you literally need to replace your oven that you don't have this is a great answer it also is wonderful for cooking anything anything you'd put into an oven. If you're wondering why would I bake in here or an air fryer in general, let me tell you. You will have evenly distributed heat, so you're not gonna have hot spots and cold spots. And what that means is that your crust, so your pie crust, your cakes, your muffins, they will all be equally golden brown because the heat is the same throughout because it's a smaller space and the air will circulate around each baked good and create that beautiful browning which is so cool definitely a great investment this is very pricey it's 379 dollars i know that's a lot but if you're going to use it for any of the reasons i described it's worth it it's cute too it's stainless steel so love that another one that i saw on amazon is the cuisinart one it's 199 dollars still pricey but definitely worth looking into and I know Oster, O-S-T-E-R, they have some good options as well. I, I did have one but I, I gave it to my doorman a while ago. If you think none of these make sense because you do not air fry or roast or use your oven that often, you stay right there, stay there. I, I have a lot to say, one second. Last but not least, this is the air fryer that I think is great for anyone who is on the fence about an air fryer. They want one, but they also want to cook in other ways too. This is what they call a multi-cooker. What this means is it pressure cooks, slow cooks, makes yogurt, it can sous vide depending on the one you get, and it can air fry, woohoo, and bake, and bake, it's amazing. They have instant pots that have an air fryer lid and other Ninja Funi models that come with an air fryer lid. This model in particular can be used, like I said, as a pressure cooker, slow cooker, whatever. And in this lid, there's actually a heat lamp that acts like an oven or a heat source for dry heat and it will crisp your food. So in order to use something like this, there's a basket and you load the food into the air fryer basket, put it in the pot, secure it, and then you'll select air fry. And you will get a very strong air fry result on your food, which is super cool. And this model in particular, this is like brand new, hush hush, I hope, I think it's out, whatever. I'll, I'll link it in the, the caption but you can air fry or roast what's at the top you have these racks and then you can put like a grain in the pot and cook it while the top is roasting and get a whole meal in this thing it is so cool if i were on the fence about buying an air fryer this is how i would start because you can always add a traditional one basket air fryer to your lineup if you already have this because you can use this for so much more i think i i think i talked about every air fryer possible. I own each air fryer that I talked about in this video. I was gifted each one and I will say honestly, I love them all. I use them all for different things. There are strengths and weaknesses with each design and I hope that this video helped you figure out why you would choose which kind, what's best for you, if you even want one anymore or if you need one now. 
So let me know in the comments if you end up getting an air fryer and which one you do get because I'm here for the air frying journey. And I'm gonna put some air frying recipes down in the caption because I have so many from air fried cronuts to air fried green tomatoes to salmon tacos, like it's a party. So I will see you guys later. I'm gonna hang out with my friends.